No mm -hmm. child is born bad. They called me a super predator. I was 17 years old. I was a child. Now, I'm 42 years old. I mentor mm -hmm. youth and I see the same childlike qualities in them that was in me. Growing up in, in Washington, D.C., it was during what they so-called crack era, and I was kind of able to see the neighborhood transform from a loving environment to a dangerous environment. I grew up with both my parents. Education was very important there, but things changed uh, when my father died when I was nine years old. He had succumbed to cancer. He uh, caught from um, being in the Vietnam War with Agent Orange poison they used to, um, to to destroy the foliage over there. It was a tough time because my father was the disciplinary. He taught us to play chess. Once he was gone, it was like, it was too much for my mother in that type of environment with the neighborhood transforming. Thought to help my father. I was charged with first degree felony murder. I was convicted of second degree murder. I had four co-defendants. I was the only juvenile and being easy to influence at the time, looking for the love of the street culture or the game culture, so to speak. And I, I took a man's life, it's something I always regret. So not only did I take a man's life, but I also provided, and younger guys, them mimicking my behavior as if I was really doing the right thing. I know that it led to other guys trying to do what I was doing and, and them ultimately making the same mistakes I've made, and some of them even losing their lives. It's a program called the Fresh Start Project, and what they do is try to teach the young men and women construction skills so I can transfer what I've learned on my job, what I'm learning in school, and I can also tell them about my uh, life of being incarcerated and being a juvenile delinquent and doing crime and trying to get them not to go down the same path that I went down. I have a lot more to, to try to accomplish, but it's one day at a time. It helps me persevere, it keeps me humble and grounded that I have another opportunity of freedom and that life in a sense. I just think terms like super predator is not conducive to a solution-based society when you're dealing with such a problem that's more complex. Like when you see a kid that did a crime, it's, it's circumstances that created him and put him in position to make those types of decisions. And we got to try to get to the root of everything, the poor educational system, poverty, the blight in the community that takes away optimism in a child. We just need to do better. At the end of the day, they're children. No child is born bad.